when you invoke Python from your system shell without any arguments, it drops you into the interactive Python interpreter. In this interpreter, you can type in Python code line by line and have it execute. It gets the job done, but there are actually better Python interpreters out there. IPython is a better interpreter that comes with some color to make things easier to read. It also comes with a few basic Linux type commands like ls and pwd to list the directory of your contents and print your current working directory. It also automatically indents when you enter a block of code, like when defining a function or creating an if statement. Well, there's an even better interpreter. It's called bpython. You can install it with pip install bpython or python-m pip install bpython. Remember to run your pip in your system shell and not from within the interactive Python interpreter. And then once it's installed, you can run it by typing bpython or python-m bpython. There is also a bpython-erwid available on some systems. You can install erwid with pip install erwid, and then try running the command bpython-erwid. I don't think the erwid version works well on Windows, but regular bpython will work across systems. The erwid version just uses a different library for rendering the curses text, and just has some minor visual differences and the way it renders, but otherwise it's not hugely different from regular bpython. So why do I like bpython so much? One of the first things that stands out to me is how it will show you your previous commands for autocompletion. So if you run a command once and then you start typing a similar command later, it will automatically suggest the command you had written before and you can just press the right arrow to accept the autocompletion. If you want to clear the autocomplete history, you want to delete from your home directory the file .pythonhist. It will also highlight the syntax, making things easier to read. It provides autocomplete suggestions for functions on objects too. For example, if you type int, you will see a list of functions available on the int object. When you're calling a function, it shows you the arguments for the function, and if there's a doc string, it'll give you some extra information. This is incredibly helpful. And this auto-completion and documentation help works for third-party packages too, not just built-ins. For example, let's import requests and try to create a request object. We can see here it prints out a bunch of helpful information about the constructor and what values we can pass it. One other cool thing you can do is undo. It's actually called the rewind feature. You press Control R to rewind, and you can actually go backwards. Press Control R repeatedly to keep going back. This is a really powerful feature. bpython has a feature that lets you share your session to a paste bin by pressing F8. When I press it, it asks me to confirm, and then it returns a URL that I can share. I don't use this a lot personally, but it is a neat feature. One other really powerful feature is the ability to open an external editor to write out code before executing it. Press F7 to open the external editor. In my case, it's opening my default editor of Vim. I can edit the code here and then exit and have it back in the interpreter. So those are some of the features that I like about bpython, and I just wanted to share that with you. If you've never used it, I hope you give it a shot, and I hope you find it useful. Do you have a preferred interpreter? Is there another interpreter you think is even better? Share in the comments.
If you want to join our virtual hackerspace community, come hang out and chat or play on our Minecraft server. Join the Dev Dungeon Discord server at devdungeon.com slash discord. If you want to support me, consider purchasing some private coaching and mentorship lessons on programming and security. You can schedule time with me using this link from devdungeon.com. If you use Discord, you can subscribe to my Kathy chatbot. It's a ton of fun to have on the server, and it can even tell you jokes. You can do that at kathy.devdungeon.com. If you have a website and you want to get notified if it ever goes down, consider signing up for my service, apora.net. If you're feeling generous, you can also donate to me directly using PayPal through this link on devdungeon.com. Also, if you liked the video, please click like, share it with others, and subscribe if you want more. Thanks for watching.